I was going to put like a little filter on this, but I don't know. I guess I won't. Hey Novas! So today I will be talking about my favorites of January and most of them are going to be like Christmas things and like kind of like a mixture of like this is what I got for Christmas. I know it's like late, but like Sorry, I was sick. But yeah, let's get into this. I'm going to start with like random things. Like this little cup. It's chip. And it even has a little chip. Is that not cute? A lot for Christmas. Super, super cute. Yeah, so like, I guess like this will just be like random things. And then my makeup. I don't know. So this is a shirt that I got in November, actually. Uh, Let's Stay in Bed. Isn't that cute? Super cute. I got that because we went to the United States, as you guys probably saw in my video. And, oh, I want new pajamas. And they were on sale at Sears because Sears was closing. So I'm like, why not? Sears is totally expensive. So, yeah. This is another thing that I got for... Christmas and to be honest super pumped about it I can't use it right now but in the future I will be right now it's solely decoration and I love it it's my first vinyl Taylor Swift 1989 I got this Gord Downey tribute magazine really nice and I actually ended up using this for an assignment like an essay that I did so awesome right this wallet super cute right like the roses on it, it's like a nice pink roses and it feels so nice it's from Spencer's it has like a bunch of my gift cards in it just so I know because I'm still using my other wallet but I got that one for Christmas and I got this for myself. Some of these things I got for myself for Christmas, which is sad, but like, reality. So this is a coconut mint drop from Bath Body Works. Oh, it's like, honestly, like the best smell ever. They used to have like twisted peppermint. I hated it. I hated it so much. It smelled like alcohol. Like, why would I want to smell like I've just downed a bottle of peppermint, peppermint, sh mint schnapps? Peppermint schnapps. Whatever. I don't want to smell like an LCBO. This doesn't smell like an LCBO. Great decision to change it because it's honestly like the best thing. This I got out of a gift card from Christmas. So technically it's a Christmas gift. It's the Happiness Planner. Super cute packaging, right? I got it in black because it's me. I'm soulless. But I love it. I haven't completed like the survey stuff yet so I did run into like some issues where I didn't know the answers but whatever it will get finished I got this sleep mask for myself for Christmas just because as you guys could see the light comes in here my bed's over there if I'm trying to have a nap because I have a migraine at 4 p.m. I can't Solves everything. And it's super cute. It's a fox. Is that not cute? If you've said that's not cute, you're lying. Don't even lie. Just gonna grab some more. <laughs> I have, like, everything on the bed behind me. Well, not everything, but some things. So I got this long-awaited gem. I've been asking for a DS ever since they came out. My mom was like, you have a Game Boy Advance. Why do you need a DS? Well, it's like, now what, 10 years later? I still need a DS. These are so relevant still. That's why. But I'm super happy for it. Right now, I have Pokemon Platinum version in it. Oh my god. But I don't know if that's like, I think it's like super old. But whatever. I'm going to work my way up. Because, like I just said, I only had a Game Boy Advance, so I'm behind in the Pokemon world. And 
I play Pokemon Go and they have all these Pokemon I've never seen in my life because like literally I have my Game Boy games right here because I still play my Game Boy. This is the last Game Boy game I played. I'm so behind. There's like five other generations that I've never even heard of and like this is like the OG. This is what I mostly play on. I need an upgrade. This is a beauty. Love it, love it, love it. Gym bag from Chapters. It's like originally like $50 or something. I got it for $25. But I haven't used it yet. Don't judge me. But eventually I will get to the gym. I will use it. Again, I'm like figuring out my schedule. If you watched my video before, I shouldn't say again because I haven't mentioned it in this video. But I am like trying to figure out all my schedules. But yeah, the gym is definitely getting added to the schedule as well as YouTube. So, yeah. I got these for Christmas. Haven't ate them all yet. They are super good. And they're actually like quite filling. If you just have like three, I'm like usually good. But I love them. Isn't that cute? It's a My Little Pony. For those of you who don't know, I love My Little Pony. And the fact that I got this for Christmas, I was like, what? They make My Little Pony cookies? So, like, basically Pinkie Pie made these cookies. You guys may also know, not only was I sick all January, but my laptop ran out of space. While filming, actually. This little hard drive? Yeah. Butte. So since most of these are still in like my Christmas bag because I was like waiting to film this video all month, I haven't used them so technically they're not my favorites but like come on I know they will be and if I use them because some of these like I won't be able to film after I use them like this. It's a brownie. So as soon as I use this, you guys won't like, I'll be like, this is my favorite thing. It's a skillet. And you guys will be like, what? No. It's originally a brownie in a skillet. They come with a cookie too, but I only got the brownie, which I'm fine with. And it's a cute little skillet. It's not too heavy. And I could like maybe figure out, like go on Pinterest, find out other recipes I could use in this. I love it. <laughs> Shower gel in the mint coconut because... You need to match. So I actually opened this up. It's a dishcloth. Which I know like, might be like, what? No, it's actually pretty cool. It has like this stuff, mesh on the inside. It's actually really great. It's called a, scrub a scrubber. So as you guys may or may not know, I am huge in the drawing and writing. So I got a whole bunch of notebooks. I got one more that is like already open, already being used. But this is so awesome because like, yeah, I haven't used them. But I know they're going to be my favorites because you can never go wrong with too many notebooks. So I think this is the final thing. Uh, we haven't used it yet. We haven't even opened it yet because we've just been super busy. And I honestly have no idea where I'm going to put it. But it's a Google Home Mini. I'm sure I'm going to get lots of use out of this. I just like, I have no idea where to put it. But like, I can't wait to use it. And my fiance actually got a Google phone. So it'll pair very well with this. And I downloaded Spotify, I think it is. Yeah, Spotify. So I can like put my music onto the Google Mini. Because I only have like iTunes and... Um, Apple Music, but now I'm gonna have to use Spotify. But yeah, that it's been a journey, and I can't wait to set it up. But it'll probably be my favorite for a while after I get it set up and whatnot, because I'm sure it'll be so useful to have. Okay, on to the makeup, which there is somewhat a lot. Oh well. So this is the last Beauty Insider thing I collected, like reward, and it is the cutest thing. I'm so happy. Wake up to makeup. 
So you put like your bobby pins, your hair elastics in it. It's super cute. I love like the dots. And I like how like that's my final Beauty Insider gift. You may be asking why because I am now a VIP. I am no longer an insider. I have a franked up. You might also be like saying to yourself how much money did you spend to rank up? But like actually I was just like $30 away from like the next level and they told me and I was like okay <laughs> I bought like $30 worth of stuff just so I could rank up but it happened it's already too late you know so technically this one isn't makeup but it's like a beauty thing if that makes sense and it's like the Dr. Pimple thing. Is that not the coolest thing ever? I got it for Christmas and I was like, this is like literally the best gift anyone could get me. Because like, you guys don't know this, but I'm like obsessed with pimple popping videos. Uh, a lot of YouTubers are actually like a lot of like different people. Because like Shane Dawson is like very vocal about it. But I don't know, I just like find them calming. So all my makeup is actually all put together, which is awesome. It's in this, the good stuff. I got this for myself for Christmas. Like basically, I got myself a few makeup things and I put them in this bag. But yeah, I spoiled myself. Not all of this is like what I got because some, some of these are samples and some of these I've gotten since because I'm bad this uh, eyeshadow palette is just like a sample one or like a mini one uh, it's Tartlet Flirt by Tarte and these are the shades it's really pretty right am I right we'll, we'll go like that can you see them I'm like so bad at this whatever the shades are gaze ah. <laughs> playful beside it oh look there's me that's awkward um and these two shimmer shades are passion and touch i'm actually wearing touch right now and i'm also wearing playful and then these are Hotline and Snuggle. So that's that palette. Um, I've only really used it like, like I said today, I use Touch and Playful. I'm not a big fan. I am really disappointed. And I wish I bought a different one. Because I like their Tartlet Tees a lot better. I find like it's better for my skin tone. Just this one is really bad. I don't know. Like, it's too dark. Like, do you guys see that my eyeshadow today? It is way too dark, I feel. It looks bad. The second thing I got myself in my makeup bag for Christmas is the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Black. It's actually the shade Witches. Suits me. Am I right or am I right? So, yeah. That, I've only used it once so far with black lip liner and it didn't really stay. I'm not sure if it's the lip liner or if it's the liquid lipstick itself so I have to redo that and figure it out again. So and then the other thing I got in my makeup bag is this red lipstick Stila. It's more red than it's showing in this video trust me. It's really nice. It is in the shade Beso. I love it. I got this as like a little sample size. So it's not like the full size. But I love it. It actually does stay. I wore it for Christmas dinner. And by the time Christmas dinner was done. It was still on my lips. And it's not like I ate like a bun. And a little thing of cheese. I ate Christmas dinner. It was like an intense thing. And we had dessert too. So just saying. It's good. I love how like showing you things that like didn't work. I'm like, oh, here's this eyeshadow palette. Didn't work. Not my favorite. Oh well, whatever. 
Uh, this is a liquid lipstick in the shade Can't Touch This. It's by Too Faced. It's their Melted Latex line. Um, I don't know. I've only worn it once, and as you can see, there's not much product on the little stick in the applicator, so I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it yet, but it is new, so maybe, like, I have to warm up to it, just like how I think I have to warm up to maybe the eyeshadow and the black lip liner, or lipstick, I should say. Oh, <laughs> here's a... Uh, my the game I got with my DS. Oh my god, Star Rush Mario Party. I can't. Like, it's just like it's in my makeup bag. So yeah, that's in the makeup section of this video. Too late. I don't care. <laughs> These are the like is the item that I bought to make it so I was a VIP, and I have never bought a purchase so rewarding and like at Sephora, and I am in love with this. It's the ColourPop Highlighter Trio. I'll show you what the box it came in. Legit AF. Is that not the cutest box? When I got that, I was like, that's cute. And like, it opened up and whatnot. It had like a little thing that held them all in. But like, that's the cutest box. I'm keeping it because it's cute. It's so cute. I love it. I've been raving about this all month. Like, my friends know this because like, I've been like, oh my god, this ColourPop highlighter. But yeah, it comes in like three shades. So this is the Spoon color. Oh my god. This this is the one that I'm wearing today. But I love it. And this is the color Wisp. It's kind of like a darker, more like rose gold. If you like rose gold. I know my one friend does, so I was like, girl, this one's for you. So this one's Over the Moon. It's like a blue purple one. Oh, I've worn it once. I like, at first, I was like, I don't think I'm going to like this one because, like, it's so extra. Like, the other ones were, like, you know, neutral tones. And then I bought these. I just got them, like, what, last week, I think? Oh, yes, very recently. Um, So, this one is Smoldering Satin. And it's just, like, a nice little rose Oh, it's, this is glitter eyeshadow. I wore it the other day and it was popping as hell. This one's Kitten Karma. So it's more like a lighter shade of gold. The other one's more like copper, dark gold type of thing. And then this one is Rose Gold Retro. And with Rose Gold, they're just like obsessed. But yeah, like if you paired this with... Ah! If you paired this with this, I feel like he would be like rose gold central. Like it would be so out of this world. It would be so good. And this is the big purchase of January. I've only worn it once. Because I've been working a lot and I'm like, yo, I ain't gonna put like $100 worth of makeup on my face to go serve people burgers. That is not my life. I'm not gonna serve you a cup of coffee with my face done up nice. That's a waste of money. Although, if I got tips, I would probably do it. I get tips at the morning, so like, I, I kind of put myself together. But it's like, minimal. Like, it's kind of like today's look. Today's mostly like drugstore, except for like the lip and the eyeshadow. Everything else, and the highlighter. Everything else is drugstore, you know, 12 bucks for the foundation type of thing. I ain't gonna wear this beautiful thing to work. Fenty Beauty. Love it. Love it. I got in the shade 120, whatever that shade is, like one of the lightest shades. Love it. This is gold. Foundation gold. If you're looking for a foundation and you're like, I don't know what foundation I want, but I want a high-end one. This. It's like, what, $35, $40? It's affordable compared to like, you know, Marc Jacobs and whatnot. It's so good. Highly recommend it. I am happy with it. Love the performance. This is another thing that I loved this month. So it's the Colorista Spray One Day Color. You just put it in. I wore it with space buns. I do have a photo. So, photo. Um, 
yeah, I love this. I wore my space buns when we went to see Star Wars. I felt super space-like and then, like, that was the day I had my pop-in highlight on. Yeah. But it's, like, running low. I'm not sure if you could buy this yet in the stores, but if I can, I will be filling up. I love it. I'm going to get it in different colors. It's fantastic if you want just, like, something different for, like, the one day or, like, two days if you don't wash your hair every day. So, it lasts. It's really good. This is the second thing I love. Colorista. This is the semi-permanent color. And I got in the color blue 600. So this lasts four to eight shampoos. And you can kind of see it. Like, it's hard to see. Like, it did. I, I don't think I did it properly the first time. But I did like the outcome. Although, I am going to put more in. Like, there's a lot of blondes still. But, I like it. I'm a fan. And I have another color that I'm going to try out. Like, this is a lighter color, so I feel like maybe that's why it didn't work that well, because, like, my hair isn't blonde blonde, but, like, I'll put more in. I feel like I didn't put enough in. Like, I only put, like, a little bit, so I was kind of worried. Um, but the next one I have is a darker color. It's a darker blue, so that will be exciting. And I want to get, like, the pink. I want to get the purple. I want to do, like, a different color, like, every week. It's going to be fun. So this is, like, actually, like, an so an oldie that, like, I've been reaching for lately. It's a tea tree water, toner water from Lush. So, like, spray that on before you do your makeup. I've been reaching for that a lot. Another thing I've been reaching for, perfume-wise, is the Katy Perry perfume. Just because it's cute. Super cute. It's a cat. Oh, what's not to love? Oh, I have the head backwards. Oops. This is a tail. But yeah. It's really... It has like a fruity, girly, light scent. I love it. I've been mostly wearing the mint coconut drop. Mint drop. Whatever. Uh, body lotion. And then pairing it with this, which is a strawberry body mist from the body shop. I am getting low. I've had this for years. Like... Two or three years. Uh, I'll have to like get some more. Hopefully they still sell this. But it. Like the combination of the mint. Coconut and strawberry. Is astounding. It's so nice. It's very like not over the top. That is basically. This video. It's a long video. I apologize. Um, but yeah. Those are my favorites of January. And mixed in with some. Christmas things I haven't used yet. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I will do more of these if you guys enjoyed them. Um, let me know what your favorites in January were. Did you have some of the same? Are you going to go and buy some of the products that I mentioned, like the ColourPop? If you haven't tried ColourPop, it's worth it. And the Fenty Beauty. So yeah, if you're wanting to try those out now, please let me know in the comments down below. Bye, Novas!